We're making a pillow. What are we going to do with the pillow? Make it for Daddy to put on the couch. Yeah. We are going to work on this little project together. Anna hasn't really sewn very much, but I mean, she's only two. So, she sewed one little bit this summer with me. So, we are going to work on this. Daddy had made a latch hook thing back when he was younger. And it's just sitting around. So, I was like, I could turn that into a pillow. We need a pillow for our couch. So, that's what we're going to work on today. What do we need? This. Our sewing box. And? This. What's in there? Sewing machine. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to turn into a pillow. I've never made a pillow with latch hook stuff before, so this should be interesting. Let's get started. Let's see, put middle finger through here. Yeah. Finger there. We're still learning how to cut here. We are just taking off a little bit around the edges. Okay, got open. So that we can, um, so it will not be so bulky. That did not work so well. Okay, cut down. Open. Got scooch forward. There you go. Cut down. These are kind of tricky because this is hard to cut. How about I cut this and you help me cut the material? Okay. You're not cutting this part. No, I already cut that part. So I was just trimming the four sides. There we go. You're All right. This part. Now we're just going to take this. Yeah. And this is a straight edge, so we're going to put it on this, it's on this white piece of material that I found. We're going to make sure this bottom part is all nice and level. Okay. And sew it. Nope. Then we're going to snip around it. Actually, I think I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to draw the line and then I'll cut it out. I'm making this around. This is going to be the back for the pillow. Okay. You know what job you're really going to be able to do? Yeah. You are going to be able to help me stuff it. Will that be fun? What stuff? Stuff. I'm going to stuff it with some stuffing. Yeah, let's scooch back. It's a little smidge. Why? Because the camera is not seeing us very well. Okay. Come on. Me. What are you doing? <laughs> you're just laying down for a nap already? No, I can't see. Oh. You gotta hold still there, girl. Bye. You make my line go wiggly. Okay, and I just gotta trim this guy a little bit. Mm. I think it's like right here. Hold still a sec. Okay. So now we have our back and our front. This is probably gonna be where it's a little tricky because it's so poofy. I've never really done it before. So we're gonna put the piece of material on top and attempt to stitch it right along the edge here. Don't really know how I'm going to do this, but we'll see. A pip. That's the back. I'm going to do this really carefully, okay? Why? Very tricky. So I discovered that if you think, if I do it with the latch hook facing up, then I can get it pretty close without it. Um, so I can make sure all the latch hook pieces are not getting caught in my seat. I'm also going to do this on a zigzag. I read somewhere to do it on a zigzag. So that's what we're going to do. So I think then it will catch the stuff better, I think. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. Um, my... Well, I think my machine is toast. Again. I've had this problem several times and I am not going to pay the $75 to get it fixed again. It just stops. Like, I can move the thing all I want. But it doesn't go down. Which is basically the sign that it's broken. I mean, it's so bad that, like, you're supposed to only turn it towards me, which is why I wrote a permanent marker on here to turn it towards me. But somehow this must have gotten turned the wrong way or something. I don't know. But it's probably broken. For a $100 machine, I would not buy this machine again. I do have to insert in here that after this project was done, I discovered that it was 
user error that made my machine not work. The bobbin spindle thingy that you push over to wind the bobbin was pushed over, meaning it would not sew. It's not supposed to sew when it is pushed over. And somehow that had gotten pushed over. I never ever pushed that over. And so I think just in the process of it getting moved, it got moved over. But anyway, it works fine now. So yeah, that makes the rest of this video kind of ironic. I'm making progress on sewing this by hand. Anna has given up on sewing with me. She did not want to sew by hand. She's just washing the dishes instead. So I'm just kind of doing this um, little whip stitch, I guess you could call it. Going around basically this line of um, the canvas part. In through here, around the little canvas part. Around, around. So it looks straight on here, on this side, and then it's diagonal on this side. And when you flip it over, it looks like this. So you don't see any of that canvas on this side, which is what I was going for. Do you want to come snip for me? Yeah. We do. So where's top? It goes this. Mm-hmm. And then this. Mm-hmm. Or your middle finger. Or middle. Oops. Open it back up. There you go. I cut. We are back to work on our project again today. Different day. I trimmed my corners at an angle so that there's not so much material bun bunching in there when I flip it around. Um, I've, done, I've sewn three edges of the material. So we're going to flip it around and then my little helper is going to help me stuff. Alright, we have our stuffing in our bag. This is just stuffing from an old pillow that I had. All right, I'm going to hold it open and I want you to pull out some and stuff it in here. Can you do that? No. No, it's just fluffy, soft stuff. You want to touch it? No. It's just like fuzzy like a sheep. Can you do it now? Can you be brave? Yeah. Now stuff it in here. Yeah. Stuff it in there. Yep, pull off another hunk. Uh. Use, use both hands and pull <coughs> off a big hunk. Uh. What? Uh. You don't want to do it? Here, stuff that bobbin. I'm just, it's just like a sheep. It is kind of like a sheep. We gotta pull it off and stuff it in there. Okay, pull off another hunk. If you hold it with the other hand, it will pull right off. Is it too weird? No. What's wrong with it? I guess I'm going to have to finish stuffing it, right? Can I do? Or if I pull it off, you can stuff it in? Yeah. Oh, you just don't like pulling it off? No. Okay. I stuff. I like stuff. Okay, and well, you hold it. Here you go. Stuff. Stuffing. 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 Good job. Uh, uh, uh. You're doing a good job filling it up. It's just like with like me. It's so soft, isn't it? I rub in the ear. Mm-hmm. How's the pillow? Good. Did we finish it? Yeah. 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 Alright, so where I just finished ditching, this isn't the most beautiful job in the world, but it does the job, and I feel like, you know, these little fuzzies will kind of cover it up and no one will ever see. I basically just sewed it how I did the rest of it. I'm not really sure how else I could have sewed it, because it was pretty tricky. Very firm, which will be perfect for a couch. You want to hold it up? 
Yeah. Come, hold it up the other way. So I can see the design. Like yeah. this way. Hold it up. There we go. Up. Okay, now hold it in front of your face. Nope, not, I mean like that. There you go. You like it? He's going. Do you think Daddy will like it? He loves it. That wasn't too hard of a project to make, even if I did have to do it by hand. It probably worked out just as well doing it by hand rather than using my sewing machine. Um, thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've made something like this and how you made it, or if you make this project. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Take it over. Bring it over to me. Hello. Is this a pillow? It's a pillow. Yeah. Did you help mommy with this? Yeah. I cut. You did some cutting on it? All by myself. All by yourself? I, I, I put the, the stuff on. What stuff? I, I, I am. Um, Stuffy. You you put the stuffing in? Yeah. Oh wow. I I have See that is see look at that. Perfect. Perfect. That's cool. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Oh.